Okay, in today's video, I am going to go over voltage for parallel capacitors. And this is the circuit we're going to use. We have three capacitors, C1, C2, and C3. They are 12, 6, and 5 farad capacitance, respectively. And we have a 12 volt battery. Now, of course, this rule applies to any number of parallel capacitors, whether we have one, two, three, four, five, or many more. We can apply this same rule. Now you will notice that each of the capacitors is connected directly to the battery. Between C1 and the battery, there is really nothing. There's no other circuit elements, no resistors, or no other capacitors. Same thing for C2. It goes directly back to the battery. Directly back. And same thing for C3. This lead from this capacitor, from this plate of the capacitor, goes right back to the battery and the lead from this plate goes right back to the battery. Okay, so now let's look at each one individually. We have C1, it's connected right to the battery. That means the potential difference across C1, across these two plates, is equal to the voltage of the battery. I like to say they get the full energy from the battery. The same thing goes for C2. It's connected right back to the battery. Therefore, the potential difference across the plates of capacitor number two is equal to the voltage of the battery, which is equal to the voltage across capacitor number one. And of course, the same thing goes for C3. And you can see that the voltage across each of the capacitors is equal to the battery and therefore equal to each other. Okay, it doesn't matter that they have different capacitances. As long as they're connected in parallel, they're gonna have the same voltage difference, the same voltage across each of the plates as the battery. That means that the potential difference or the voltage across each of the capacitors is equal to the potential difference or the voltage of the battery. Okay, that's the rule, they're equal to each other. All right, now, well, what are they? That's not too hard to figure out. We only have one battery. We have a 12 volt battery. The battery is 12 volts. VB stands for the voltage of the battery, 12 volts. And that means they're all 12 volts. Okay, this is our potential gain. And then the potential difference across each of the plates for each of the capacitors is 12 volts. Okay, that's all there is to it. Capacitors in parallel equal to the voltage of the battery. Okay. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you found that helpful, you can give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment in the comment section below. That's it. See you in the next video.